because the .com is here. Today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful uh, blanket with our plush Chanel yarn. Because plush Chanel yarn. So we have 10 colors of this beautiful uh, Chanel yarn. It feels and looks very different from a uh, regular Chanel or Jumbo Chanel. It's completely different feeling. And we will be using gray and oatmeal colors. So this is our oatmeal and this is our gray colors. This is the colors we'll be using today. We have 10 colors total available for this uh, beautiful Chanel yarn plus Chanel at Bicosi.com. Uh, plus Chanel yarn is not available at any craft store, so if you want to make a blanket like that, you need to go to our website, Bicosi.com, go to yarns, find plus Chanel, and then purchase it. We have uh, two beautiful green colors, emerald green and olive. Uh, we have very popular mauve color. It's extremely beautiful. We also have uh, tan and mustard. We have beautiful popular misty green and navy blue. And we have a very beautiful red color for a beautiful red blanket. And today, as I said, we will be using gray and oatmeal. We will be using two grays, uh, two, uh, four skeins of gray and one skein of oatmeal. It will be in the middle of the blanket. So let me show you one more time. So two skeins on the top one skein of oatmeal in the middle and two skeins on the bottom. So the size of this blanket is 30 by 45 guys. This is the length of it and this is the weeds. So this is 30 by 45, five skeins and it's a perfect lap throw to throw on your laps when you're sitting on the couch uh, watching TV. So uh, you sh if you didn't try our plush Chanel yarn, you should definitely give it a try. It's extremely nice, soft, and beautiful. Uh, and if you're ready, let's get, oh, I forgot. And the pattern is single ribbon. So one uh, stitch is knitted, one purled. That's why it gives you this beautiful uh, stitches combination. It looks really beautiful on this blanket, single ribbon. Let's get started. Okay, guys, let's get started. So we will be using this uh, beautiful plush, uh, Bicosi plush Chanel yarn, gray and oatmeal. So we will start with gray color. Let's find the end. And plush Chanel yarn is, uh, will have this uh, strings uh, on the end. And the strings are, uh, connected here in the knot, in many knots, and that prevents this yarn from unraveling. So when we're connecting this yarn, we will be using this string uh, on the end. So let's get started. We'll place the yarn in front of us like that. This is the tail, this is working yarn. Working yarn goes on the top. We we'll made the loop like that. Insert your hand, grab working yarn, and then you will pull this top and hold these two strings together and pull them down like that. So you just made your first stitch. We will keep it about one and a half, two inches wide, and you can make it smaller or bigger by pulling working yarn out. Uh, and we, as I said, we'll keep it about one and a half, two inches, and then we will insert our right hand inside the stitch grab working yarn and pull it out. So we just made second stitch and you see that they're approximately the same size. This is our goal to have them approximately the same size. So what do we do now? We are placing our left hand uh, on the bottom of the stitch and then you insert in your right hand or fingers grabbing working yarn and pulling it out. So we just made third stitch. Again, move your hand, left one, uh, hold the bottom of the stitch, insert your hand, grab working yarn, and pull it out. So that's how we will be making a chain for this blanket, and the amount of stitches we will be casting on 
will be 21. 21 will give us the width of the blanket uh, 30 inches. And if you want to make uh, this blanket in a bigger size, you will need to uh, cast on more stitches. Uh, you would need 20, uh, 25 stitches for the 25, 27 even stitches for the width of 40 for medium uh, size of the blanket. So let's count the stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 21. So we just made the chain of 21 stitches, guys. Here it is. What we are doing next. We will be flipping the chain on another side. And we will be knitting our first row. Why we flipped the chain on another side? Because we will be using these uh, knots in the middle. We will not be using the top or the bottom of the stitch. We will be using the middle part of the stitch. And the reason we'll be doing it because then this chain will be on the bottom and the blanket will look really beautiful. So this is our first stitch. We will insert our hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. Now we will be using these knots in the middle. So you lift the knot with your left hand insert your uh, right hand inside the stitch, grab working yarn and pull it out. And then we will be studying our pattern, guys. And the pattern will be knit one, purl one. So I didn't do it right. So we knit it first. And now this stitch we will be purling. So we... Uh, lifted the stitch and now the working yarn will go up front and then you hold the stitch and you push yarn through the stitch. So here we are. We just needed one stitch and we purled one stitch. Next, uh, this is the knot in the middle and we will be knitting the stitch. So lift the stitch Insert your right hand, grab working yarn, and pull it out. Next stitch we will be purling. Working yarn goes up front. You're lifting this middle part of the stitch, holding it with your left hand, and then pushing the yarn through. So this is our fourth stitch. This one was knitted, purl, knitted, purl. Knitted looks like a little chain. Purl has a bump in front. Uh, yarn goes on the back. Now we are inserting our finger in the next stitch, grabbing working yarn, pulling it out. Working yarn goes up front. Let's find that bump in the middle of the stitch, not the top part, not the bottom, but the middle. Lift it and push yarn through to make next stitch. Next stitch needed. Again, lifting our yarn, inserting right, right finger, fingers, grabbing working yarn, pulling it out. Working yarn up front, lifting the stitch, pushing the yarn through to purl. Next one, knitting stitch, simple knitting stitch. Next one, purl, yarn up front, lift middle of the stitch, push yarn through. Now keep doing the same way till the end of the row and we will have our pattern starting. This pattern, as I mentioned, called uh, the, uh, single rib, single ribbing or single rib, and it's one knit, one purl. So when we reach the end of the row, also make sure that the yarn is not curling because this yarn is curling when you're using it. Here we are. So, our first and last stitch are needed, guys, okay? And that 
that is the reason we have 21 stitches because this will give us a beautiful chain on this side. So what we are doing now, we will be knitting the stitches the same way as we knit in, in our first row. We will be knitting the first, uh, we, we will be knitting the knitted stitch and we will be purling the purled one. You can see the difference. Uh, it's kind of like yarn uh, separates them in two lines. These ones are knitted, these ones on the back are purled. So uh, again, knitted has uh, a look of a chain link and the purled one has a look of this little bump on the top of the stitch. So insert your hand, grab working yarn and pull it out for the knitted stitch. This was purled, we are purling it again. We're holding the stitch and pushing yarn through. This one was knitted, it looks like a chain link and we're inserting our hand, grabbing working yarn, pulling it out. This one was purled, there is a bump. Hold the stitch, make sure it's not twisting, and then push yarn through. See, you already see our pattern. This one was knitted, we are knitting it. This one was purled, we are purling it. And then we will do the same to the end of the row. And that is our pattern till the actual, the end of the blanket. We will be knitting all knitted stitches and we will be purling all purl stitches. So it will look very beautiful at the end. And we will be using two uh, skeins of the gray color plush Chanel yarn and then we will connect a beautiful oatmeal. So here we are. We just made two rows. What we're doing differently here, we will not be knitting the first stitch. Starting this row, we will be skipping every stitch, every first stitch in every <clears throat> excuse me, row. So uh, we needed it in this row because that's uh, how you're supposed to do it. Then it will look uh, beautiful here. But starting this row, we will be skipping it here and at the beginning of the other row. So it's simply sitting here. You needed it uh, when uh, it was last stitch. But then you just sit in here and you are going directly to the next stitch which was purled. So hold the stitch and push the stitch through. See, so now you have two stitches. We didn't need it. We didn't need this one. And the reason why we didn't need it, it will give us a beautiful chain on the side. It will not be curling. It will be nice and straight on the side. So this one needed, so we're knitting it. And then this is purling. This is knitting. As you can see, the st stitches are twisting, so you need to untwist them. Make sure that they are not twisted when you're knitting them. Uh, otherwise, the pattern will be completely ruined. It will not look good. So I will show you one more time how I'm skipping the stitch at the beginning of the row from the left. And then I will just keep knitting until I use all the gray color. So here we are have two stitches left. Here we are. Make sure to knit the stitch when it's last. Here, we knitted it. And now, when we're going back, we are skipping this stitch. So the skipping stitch is very easy. Just lay it here and start with the second one. This one is purled, so hold the stitch and push the stitch through. Here we are. So I will keep knitting until I have uh, used all my gray color. And then I will come back and I will show you how to connect the next, next skein. Okay guys, so uh, I am done with my first uh, skein and I will show you how to connect this yarn. Because this yarn connected differently than any other Chanel yarn, okay? So make sure to watch careful. So you have this yarn and you have the string with the yarn on the end. Uh, if you don't have it, you can just simply cut yarn and then you need to 
remove some yarn. See, it just literally fallen up off uh, from the string inside. And then when you have the string inside uh, long enough to connect the yarn, then you are separating it in two and making a few knots to prevent it from unraveling. Okay, so when you've done that, now you're connecting it to the other uh, part, which has the same two strings. So you're taking these two strings on one and on another, and then connect the yarn, and then make another knot. And I would recommend to make two, three, uh, at least three knots, maybe even uh, more, that it would uh, connect nicely and hold. So here we are. Then when you connect the yarn, you cut these strings close to the yarn and you will not see this connection on the finished blanket. Here we are. See, it's connected nicely. So now I will uh, keep knitting until I use the second uh, skein and then I will come back and I will show you how to connect um, ivory color and what to do next. Okay guys, so I am ready with my uh, two skeins of gray. I'm done with them and now I will show you how to connect the uh, oatmeal color because the middle of the blanket will be oatmeal. Okay, so as I said you have this end. Uh, make sure that you uh, remove some of the yarn and make a few knots to prevent yarn from unraveling. And then we will take the oatmeal color. It has the same end. It has a few knots to prevent from unraveling. And then you're just simply uh, making a few knots with, with these two strings on each side. A knot and then another knot. In. I usually make three, four to make sure that it's holding uh, as tight as possible. So here we are, we have three knots. Okay, so it's connected nicely. Now we just need to cut the strings close to the yarn. And now we can start knitting our uh, oatmeal part, okay? So we usually start, we always start needing uh, a new color at the beginning of the row, guys, okay? So at the beginning of the row, we will place our working yarn here. Okay, stop, okay, here you go. And now we will start knitting, and uh, this is the case when you are knitting the first stitch because you're introducing new, new yarn, so uh, you're not skipping first stitch, you are knitting it because this is a knitted stitch. So your hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. Next stitch is purled, but here is the trick, guys. We, if we purl this uh, second stitch, then we will have this uh, gray color on the top. So to avoid it, we will be, when the first row, when you're introducing new yarn, new color, you are knitting all the stitches. So you're knitting this stitch, and you're knitting next one, and instead of purling, you are knitting all purling stitches the same as you are knitting the knitted one. What it will give us, it will give us beautiful connection of the yarns and beautiful uh, connection between two colors, okay? So we're simply knitting all our row instead of following the pattern of knit pearl. And this is only for one row. And then when we are done with the first row, attaching a new color. Then we will go back to our uh, pattern knit pearl. But this way we will have beautiful color uh, combination or connection, okay? So here we are. We are here, this is the last row 
a last stitch needed. Now this stitch we are skipping and this one was purled before so we're starting again. P need purl, need purl, need purl. So we will do the same uh, s uh, connection of the yarn when we are uh, switching or switching of the yarn when we're switching from the uh, oatmeal to gray guys so make sure that you're doing the same way when you are introducing gray color back you will be knitting all stitches in a row and then when the first row is done then you will go back to your pattern knit purl knit purl so that's how it's done and I will keep knitting uh, I will connect my oatmeal to gray as I said and then I will when I am ready to uh, finish I will come back and show you how to finish it okay guys so we are done we used uh, two skeins of gray then we used one skein of oatmeal and then two more gray here and you can see this beautiful connection side when we knitted all stitches uh, for the first row of uh, oatmeal and the same here you don't really see the difference but connection looks very nice and clean and uh, we did it this way to avoid this see on the back side you see with the connection of the yarn or switching from one yarn to another and on the front side you don't see it it looks very nice so what we are doing now we have the yarn here left i usually leave three weeds of the blanket uh, for the yarn so it's one two and three if you have a little bit more like i have almost four that's better than uh, less than three okay so now we will be casting off for casting off you're taking two stitches at a time put them on your fingers and then walking yarn goes through the two stitches then the stitch goes back on your fingers and you're adding next and you have two uh, stitches on your hand grab walking yarn and pull it through too so that's what we're doing to go uh, here see uh, make sure that you're knitting every stitch because the pearl stitch will be hiding so make sure that you're not missing it not skipping it again uh, one stitch on your hand add another and then pull the yarn through the two Put it back on your finger, add next stitch. Now you have two and knit this two into one. Then one stain on your hand, add another and knit them together. See, we're having this beautiful, we're making this beautiful chain on the top of our blanket. And if you're knitting the way I am showing you, you will have beautiful chain on the bottom, on the top and on both sides so see this is our side and because we were skipping every stitch uh, at the beginning of the row we have this beautiful chain on the side and the blanket is nice and straight on the side uh, you can uh, knit the first stitch it's fine but your uh, side of the blanket will be curly and you will not be straight and also you will use a little bit more yarn that's kind of like saving you yarn so we used five skeins of this beautiful plush chanel plush chanel available on letbecausey.com and it's very soft and plushy and uh, it's completely different feeling from uh, chunky chanel or jumbo chanel so if you want to try it you should definitely try it so here we are we finished our row and see we had three and a half and we have only one little piece left uh, so this uh, tail goes inside the last stitch and then you pull the 
yarn and here how you finished your blanket. Now you go uh, and insert this tail underneath the chain, both part of the chain, one way and then another and then another and then you can go back and uh, weave in this end by hiding it uh, underneath uh, on the other side of the blanket and you can also uh, tie it tie, make a knot with these two strings like that so you can tie it tie it tie it to one of the stitches and then make a few knots and this way it will be holding nicely it will not be falling off the end of the yarn when you are using the blanket and then just cut these two strings okay so here we are this is the front this is the back you don't see any connection it connected nicely and then we can do the same on another side guys so this is our uh, back of the uh, I mean bottom of the blanket see we have this beautiful chain here we have beautiful chain on the side and it's very nicely made and here we have our uh, tail too going underneath the chain one two and then we will go back and weave in this end underneath any uh, stitch so here we are and like that here so we connected it nicely our beautiful blanket is ready it's nice and soft and perfect to cover uh, 30 by 45 the size guys and it's perfect size to uh, cover your laps when you're sitting on the couch watching TV so as I said we have 10 colors of this beautiful yarn available check it out uh, becausey.com stay warm and be cozy hey guys my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase it can be purchased at becausey.com and on amazon and also available as a e kindle it's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one it's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market